<laughs> Ew, get your tongue off me, silly. <laughs> that makes me laugh. Like, it's, it's gross, but it's funny. You gonna blow all that shit up, crazy woman. <laughs> that really does make me laugh. Get your tongue off me. I feel bad Did if I he... sent my one friend <laughs> this way, accent. I love you, Dookie, but please get your, your face off my foot. Yeah, I don't want your nasty gums on my toes. Why would he want my feet in his mouth, dude? Dogs like that. That's gross. It is, but it's true. That's gross. Dogs like things that are... He's just trying to sleep. Stink. He's not <laughs> intentionally trying to have his tongue on my foot. <laughs> what kind He's of dog probably... is it? He's like part, um, English Bulldog, part Pitbull. He's goofy as fuck. Oh my gosh, I just dropped my controller. Yep. Ah, you're goofy also. <laughs> you say the craziest poor, stuff sometimes, and it's funny. Poor doggy. Good dog. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Bye. Damn. I'm legit letting Arthur's beard grow out so much. I really want the paper plane. I need to. Uh, I'm not buying. What is? Is that a glider? Yeah, supposedly the quietest glider there is. You know, I think I've heard enough of your opinions, Miss. Is that so? Yeah. Now make yourself useful, and the first party Please. useful is not driving me insane with your constant complaining. Yeah, that's oh, pretty quiet. Say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you. If I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. Chief, will you come near me? What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables Please. for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work? Renegade. Oh, Miss Adler. Why are some of these pickaxes so expensive? It's My crazy. husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. Like, I totally hunt, want this thing, but I'm not paying that Or much. use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner. Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife. <laughs> Enough! Come over here. I love you, Sadie. Come with me, then. You want to head out there? Run with the man? So be it. <laughs> but we do more than just hunting. We kill. And them things. They still haven't so fixed the zipline. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. If you need anything, Mr. Pearson, maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah. Sure. Here's you my know, list. I got a skin and I don't know where it Can came you post from. this letter for me? While you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? <laughs> I l yo, flower. I legit love Arthur Morgan. So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. He's legit so freaking classy. Like, I legit love the Wild West, and I would so make a movie of that time period if they make the Rockstar edit on PS4, because. It's fantastic. Now, I ain't no scullion, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweat half wit. If they make what on we all gotta do Um, share. Rockstar Editor, it's the recording software. Oh, where's that letter? Uh, Are you reading this mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. Here. <clears throat> He's actually gonna read the letter. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. 
Since we last corresponded, I Am I the only person? Widely, making what? no small name for myself. Uh, <laughs> oh, what is that? What is it? I am still yet to take a while. What is it? I can assure what does you it do? It's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> <laughs> he ever actually even it's fireworks. To a woman he ain't paid for. Uh, look, we're all hiding behind something. Why are you doing that, you bitch? No, Stop. Crazy. Return to test his kill goal. She tried oh, to kill that, my firework that's machine. All male to be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up People somewhere in Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore or whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. That is still funny as hell. Oh, good doggy. Everybody's just setting on fireworks everywhere. Yeah, good. It's a good dog. Who are you talking to? Ah, oh, no, I'm playing Red Dead, and there's just a dog, and it's it's. I like dogs. Okay, I really need to put this down. There's no reason for me to be carrying fireworks. Like, does it do damage? What does it do? You want me to drive? Okay, here we are. So we were here all the along with him. I shoot the shopkeeper. Will you? No, are you insane. Okay, I I'm doing it. Was outlaws. Right. Outlaws, not idiots. Oh. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just what? trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. For sure. This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Cool. Nothing exciting. Alright, I really have to go sometimes. <gasps> Everything is okay, good. Boy. Oh, I love dogs. How do you do, sir? Hey, mister. <laughs> what did you get there, Harold? Nothing. What do you mean, no? Oh, an enemy. Yo, it is so cool, the mechanics that they use on Red Dead. Like, you've played GTA before, right? Yeah. Partner. Well, like, Red Dead, it takes the uh, gun factors. Oh my gosh! Up to the next notch. Everything okay? Just gonna kill him. Can I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. Alright. Is everything going well? Too sober to smile. I'm gonna go to my island. That's where I'm gonna go. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Okay, right, so like, Red Dead allows you to interact with a lot more people, and then you can sit down on a lot of stuff, and then the doors are actual, your hands actually move to open doors open. And then lastly, with the gun, you can use your revolvers and your and your shotguns with like one hand. And it makes it a lot more realistic because I don't think people use two hands and start swinging around their pistol like it's nothing. But then one last thing is the fact that the gun looks a lot cooler with the arm movement. Oh my god. Thanks. Dang, she looks well, good. Back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you oh, I don't know what to okay. do. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. <laughs> so, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't stunt. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband I and I share all the work. 
I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know. I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you... Uh, you know. Oh wow, this match is gonna Maybe end on my own. What is no. going on? I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. People are gonna know where it is. Nothing for me ever I'm gonna have to kill everybody. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Ah! Go, go, go! Shit! Let's get the hell out of here! Are you... Go! Bitch, you're dead. I'm pulling right now. Think you're landing records? Oh shit! I'm gonna run this son of a bitch down. Fighting and I'm just fishing. I'm gonna do this real quick, moving. I don't wanna. I need the law. Not a boat. And that's why I can't. I gotta worry about this. Why? No, no, no. Like uh, on Red Dead, you gotta worry about um, if you loot a body, you gotta worry that that some AI is gonna be like reporting you to the cops. So you gotta watch out for that. Wow, that's the second time I've died because my SMGs run out of ammo and doesn't make it fast. Um, so Flower, question. So who do they say they were? Do you always stay up late and then wake up and like sleep during the day? No, I got up at like 6 or No, I mean like, because a little while ago. A little while ago, what? Ah, uh, it's just, I don't know, you used to like wake up at 7 and stay up all night. I was just wondering, yeah, I was just wondering if, you're, if you've if you been sleeping well. I mean, my sleep schedule's never been normal. I know, I just care about making sure you're okay. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I 
I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. That's shopping? Yes, that's shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Can I shoot so at this? Oh, my gosh. I would ride gosh. with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> oh, we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, um. shut up. That's my teammate. Arthur Morgan. This is like the only permanent bush I've ever been in that's like ever me because of who I am. Hey, not, not just because I'm an uppity darky. Sure paradise for you, kid. <laughs> I can hardly wait. Uh, Keep at it, Mark. I don't want that fire going out. Hey there. You're keeping busy? Trying to. Well, don't let me stop you. Sounds good. What about you, Bill? Um, you ever want to run your own bunch? One day. Folks seem happy, Mr. Morgan. We have been provided for. Well, we have, Reverend. For me. Have a fine time. Trust me, it won't be no laughing matter. No, 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 definitely not. Now, let me tell you, if you were my boss, I'd never laugh again. Not a word of a lie. Never again. It, it wouldn't be a laughing matter. Next time we run an errand together, me, remind please. me to pack more bullets. Come on, Arthur. Don't pretend that wasn't kind of fun. <laughs> well, I guess. All right, well, I should be getting on. Have you sight down? I can deliver some hay, but we haven't done something in a while. We haven't. Sick. What is that? This is going to take forever. Oh my god, that is going to be awesome. Yo. We can do some crazy stuff like robbing houses in this game. That is awesome. That old Micah. Didn't Dutch tell you to take a lookout? What I do and don't do ain't no concern of yours. Least I still give a damn about this gang. You busy, Arthur? You give a damn about nothing but yourself. Not too busy. Why? I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... said it was really... freakish. The family local boogeyman, <coughs> I guess. Ow. They're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course. Uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. I love this game. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, more or less. I just need to get a team together that can, God that can what? help me with these. That's a nice word. You get, um, Dick doesn't play it, does he? What? Dick doesn't play Fortnite, does he? That's funny. Does he? No, he doesn't. He thinks it's stupid. That's why I asked. I said, Dick doesn't play it, does he? Yeah. yeah, so, like, I guess, um, in a little bit, me... You maybe vibes, and then another one person you know. You can go and rascal up the team. Easy. Okay, we're pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. 
Just yes, Thickle, Thickle was really like, snotty about it earlier. Ah, uh, that's not good. I like Thick a lot, but you gotta relax on that. He's like, oh my gosh, he was. There's a... some of the people he plays with. I just don't know about. Spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look. Yeah, I joined this one party with him. It had um, it had a burning kitten in it. Do you know them? Uh -uh. Yeah, I thought it was like I thought they had some sort of affiliation with you. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. I know. They use burning, and they have the uh, kitten logo like you do. Oh, well, that's weird. Yeah. Big place, right? But anyway, no, he was playing with these guys, and and this one guy was like. He was like, yeah, if a, woman, if a woman picks up a weapon, then I'll hit her. But if she's not got a weapon, then I'm not going to hit her. He's like, but if she picks up a weapon to use against me, I'm going to beat her like a man. A big barn in the back. And a they were having this big conversation about this. A lot of people living and here. apparently Large that house. guy had... Be in any one of them some woman had to be like airlifted right and taken to the hospital because sure he beat her so thing. bad. What the hell? I think we need to draw and I'm just like... Now. Uh, That's a little left up. Follow me. Yeah. Yeah, Thick needs to be watching who he's been talking to. I just Thinking. think it's gross. I don't know. I mean, if a woman has to be, like, taken in a chopper because of injuries, that's messed up. I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, I mean, well, if anybody has to, to be, not just a woman, but, up. like... I, I know, but the fact that he was just discriminating it towards that... Yeah, so I know, it was so... Ugh. Keep it down. I hear voices. I hear voices too out of here. Here's. Should I carry fish? Oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't know. Come on. Let's <laughs> hide behind this shark. See if we can hear what they're saying. Ooh. Well, that's an upgrade. I'll take that. Yeah. Just stay quiet. Don't score notions in the dipping clinic's head. Where you been now, dude? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I's gone for ten minutes. Yeah, I hate SMGs. They're so awful. Get golden all day long, cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, Edie, get all the jam. You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your belt. I will. You need to pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. Why is this my boat skin? Yeah. What are we doing, Javier? Okay. You take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction. Yeah, this should be map jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. Be quiet! You be quiet, just yelling out. Excuse me. Oh no. It's dynamite, isn't it? Holy shit. What? Oh, no, oh there's only... one of those things. Turn your boat around. Turn your boat around. We got to put this out, don't you? Oh. Hey, I keep the oh, shot on the
where my kid is. Wait, what, your daughter's not in school? It's that she missed three and four. Missed what? Like she left earlier or something. I don't know. I'm sorry to hear about that. Hopefully it's okay. Where are you? I'm on my way home. Why does this why did I get a call yeah. saying you you missed periods three and four? <laughs> Okay, well, when you get home, will you call them and ask them, please? Okay. Yo, Flower, right. you and your daughter have such a close bond. Alright, I love you. Bye. Flower, I hope you don't mind me saying, but I love the bond you have with your daughter. I don't have a bond with my daughter. We don't get along at all. Really? Mm -hmm. Damn. The way I mean, it sounded, y'all. Love my daughter, but yeah, we. Yeah, but I meant like money. it sounded like you had an understanding. Like, I just hope everything's okay. She's gonna have to get that straightened out with school, though. I don't know why they keep marking her absent, and they're probably gonna be like, "Oh, you can't walk on graduation." Schools have some problems nowadays. We need to figure out what the hell they're doing with their lives. See, ain't I done? Well, that's a weird place for a drop. Holy cow! Oh, Thanks. Some of these guns that I be getting unread that are very classy. I want to make sure I always search everything in a house. The only thing I could get is this locked box, and I, there's literally nothing I can grab from it. Dang, where are these guys hiding the loot? How did somebody miss this? Kind of funny. So. Yeah. Everything, everything going okay? Mm-hmm. Alright. I basically, I worry about my friends because I want to make sure everything's going okay with them. So if, uh, so if I say something, I just hope it's in like best, uh, Ooh, best ah! students. Don't mind if I do. Was that my kill? Did, oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Somebody's hitting me from I don't even know where. Uh, I know it. I guess the repeater's gonna be. So, there's no. I think that person stole my kill. I'm like really, really salty. You are right to be, man. Right to be. That's probably the only kill I'm gonna get with the SMG. Like, you mean? Uh, 
Did I get it with it? No, I didn't. Wow. That could be a cool bastard for those who try and work hard in it. See, my horse coming over here. I would need some kind of, like, if I did streaming, like actual streaming. Well, yeah, that's why if you need any guidance on setups, I'm always the person for that. I just need some kind of, like, you know. Like I said, I always know what to do on the streaming stuff. Like, I just, I just don't I... know how I would brand myself. Like, it's not like I talk about, like, a lot of interesting things or... You're a cool chick that gets into a lot of fun scenarios. I, I guess. I also have to clean up my language. No, no, no. I curse on my streams. You just have to make sure that your audience isn't suited for children. Because if you're suited for children, you won't make any money. Like, legit, YouTube just made that thing where if, if you're okay with your videos being seen by children, you legit don't make any more money on the video. So you have to make sure it's, like, teen rated and such. Right. Let me take over here. I'll go grab this one body from up there. Heal damage with uncommon weapon. Oh, this poor bastard. Hey, Flower. Mm. She likes being called Sadie, not Lady. Sadie Adler. <clears throat> What's a Sadie Adler? That's the name of the woman in Red Dead. She's one of my favorite characters. She's a really cool lady. Sorry, she likes being called Sadie, not Lady. I let you take a bunch of fall damage. Told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Oh, sounds good. <coughs> something to eat. I don't know why I don't. How did they do it? I really want to do the thing where I... Hey, I have no clue how they do it. Finally making some good money on Red Dead. Like I make like six hundred dollars off of something, but then I have to pay a certain bounty. So I'm finally making money where it's like good, where it's um what's it called um. Hey, hey. Hey. Okay. Wait, what? I don't understand. You're trying to me? No, I'm like trying to figure out what, how to like freeze raw vegetables. <laughs> it says you briefly blanch vegetables to set their color and texture. What does that mean?
most root vegetables. I wonder about carrots. What? This is boiled and briefly? I had a mercy oh. kill another animal. Corn peas. Good haul today, girl. <laughs> That's a real shame. I don't like having to kill animals. I'm gonna have to watch a whole on how to do yeah. this. Well, what are you trying to do? <clears throat> I have no clue what that means. What, like, eat a bunch? We'll see. <clears throat> I fix a lot of, like, you know, diced vegetables. Like, when I make. There, girl. Say I make a hamburger. Yeah. I'll chop up a ton of stuff to mix in with it. Like, I need to just switch over to veggie burgers. Yeah, like, I. I like beef, but it's like bad for my stomach, so I stopped eating it, and oh I just- Oh my god, that's so cute! Like, I had a craving for it yesterday, but I work at Burger King, so I ate an Impasto Whopper. I left at like 5.30 in the morning. Is that your daughter? Yeah, you did. I heard the shower at 5 o'clock. Oh. Your hair Flowers. looks Flowers. Is that your daughter? Uh, yeah, that's my daughter. Yeah. I'll order some random guy on the PlayStation says hi. Yep. Cool. Uh, you make you good girl? Dang, I really was hoping that you'd say it like that. Yeah. Good girl. Uh, will you call the school and ask them, what do you have in that bag? Alright, girl. Drugs. Is it hair? Yeah. Oh, okay, goddamn. Random people call my phone. If you want to call my phone, you better have some name. Yeah. So where does that go? Oh. Alright, let me see. Can run over to... Why did you leave in the middle of the night? Is that a good thing that Jake's also gay? Is he cheating on you with a dude? Yes. Doing good, girl. I don't know about all that. I don't know about it. I wouldn't play it cool. Don't leave that stuff up there though. Put that in the kitchen. If you would give me a minute, please. Clear this ride up for you. You need to. I should take a picture. What you need? You have a good one. I'm going to. Everything okay? Mary, do you want to take a picture? God. I want to take your picture. Ah, sh. Oh, you can put that detergent in the walls. Alright. Why do you have to be right? Wookie. Wookie. Wookie, smile. Wookie. Hey! Turd. Get him in the floor, please. Okay, put He's the detergent now. down. Okay, you just look pretty. Look at me. No, you look cute. I think I need to take a different picture though, because for some reason, back to your legs look 
disproportionately large compared to your head. What am I supposed to do with this? Okay. Prepare yourself. Let's see how much you take. You ready? Are you ready? Flashback mean. Give it to me. Oh, you're right. I could do it without a flash. Maybe. There we go. Here, give me your phone. Uh, Will your phone not do that? Yeah, I do. Not make it look so. Oh. Cause you don't look like that, like it doesn't look white like that. Alright. Hold on, let me turn that. You. Dookie! Like what? Duke. Duke. Yeah, it's gonna be on the awesome train or something. There, girl. What do you mean? Oh, I don't know how to do all that. Oh my gosh, why can't I take this picture? Dookie. In here. He's just like, what? I feel like I'm ancient because I can't figure out how to take pictures. You're not ancient. Flash off. Flash on. Do you want to know what a flash is? Flower. Nope, it's going to keep doing it. You look yellow with the flash off, and you look white with the flash on. Did the university send you? Because if they did, they can get lost. I have never been so insulted in what. all I wonder if my I can life. Fix that in really? Laughed at? Well, that's dash. a really cute picture. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? Those wretches will do anything oh, to look, destroy Andrew me. Like my theories are correct, bitch. and I can prove it. I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because unlike Wait, them, that I actually it? have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You oh, know, big are, lizards. Uh, are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. My ears really, really itchy. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Just I mean, they got rid of some of it. Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. It's not as wide as it yeah. was. Like, you don't look like... Listen. You know. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise you got red eyes, in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely just go for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be want. proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir! <laughs> okay, my girl. Oh my god. 
That's a buffalo. Why is my ear so itchy? Can you hear me? Come on. I just want to study it. I'm gonna shoot a bison. Put me in the kitchen, please. And you need to put the stuff in the dryer. Because I don't think you did last night. Well, he didn't do yeah. it. Ah, senor! I think maybe we see the last time was luck, huh? I'm feeling good today, uh, Way. What do you say about upping the ante this time? Make it interesting. Why not? I'm feeling good too. Ha! Okay, my friend, let's do it. Just like the last time, okay? <laughs> Who can shoot the most bottles? Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> shoot! Maldito! You just got lucky. If that makes you feel better, sure. Uh, that was damn pathetic. Uh, how about another round, huh? Race stakes. I don't want to play Fortnite, yeah, but I want to play Fortnite. Aha! Uh -huh. That's a you good call, me, amigo. Just like before, Fuck you amigo. Too. You shoot four birds out of the sky before me, huh? you win. Stand near me. And as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah, there they go. Shoot! You're already bored of work. You know, some of these can't swim out of the Oh, man. Stupid, stupid. Somebody bought us, huh? For sure. Oh, that's good shooting, I guess. Here it is, okay? Man of my word. Appreciate it. Sure. <sighs> Better watch out next time. You'll see. Hey there, girl. Because I'm actually going to collect those hides. You, um, still have, you must have still had some in your wallet because I've got it set to where you can't spin it if it's not there. So, Flower, what's your daughter's name? Her name's India. India. That's pretty. I thought you were saying Andy. I guess you were saying Indy. India. Yeah. Are you pr yeah. sheer pride? Are you proud of her? Yeah. Uh, I'm proud of yeah. her. She's not being mean as shit. Well, tell her some random dude on PlayStation says hi. Some random dude on PlayStation says hi. Exactly. I mentioned I wanted you to see it a few seconds she ago. Said, Hi, you. random dude on PlayStation. I know, right? Your boyfriend would be so mad you talked to somebody. Is that true? Yeah, her boyfriend needs an ass weapon or something. I don't know. Well, that was legit what happened with Pringles' boyfriend. That's why what? I don't talk to her anymore. What? If you all ever do any more stupid shit like that, let me tell you something. I don't want you doing that. Like, you need to get away from him. If you do that ever again, you're both getting kicked out. I'm not dealing with it, especially when I'm in the shower. What were they doing? You what? Well, probably because he's guilty. Why do you think he acted that way? That's how they deflect. Right, Laura, what the hell happened? Did he have, yep. did he do weird stuff in your house? They got in a fight. You better have a goddamn good reason for being here. Relax. Yeah, keep moving. Get is everything okay? I mean, yeah, this was like a day or two ago, but they were like screaming and yelling, and I heard shit like getting knocked around. And, like, they better not be fucking shit up in your house. I know. 
I was Especially like, while you're shower, showering. I couldn't do anything. I was about to like just hop out of the shower and traumatize both of them, but... Yeah, wait, what do you mean traumatize? I put a towel on, thank you very much. But if you, what do you ever, ever do anything that like that again, either one of you. I'm sorry, what do you mean by traumatize? I'm her mom, she shouldn't see me like, you know, hopping out of the shower. But the boyfriend would? No, she wouldn't either. They'd both be like, oh my god, please. Go Wait, away. you don't think you look good? No. Oh, come on. Don't be hurting yourself. Men probably think you're very fine. Who thinks you're there's fine? Not a single, there's not a single person on earth that would describe me as fine. Well, when I first saw, when I saw your, your um, YouTube account profile. I'm not talking about myself, that's the truth. When I saw your profile pic, I thought you were very pretty. Tell me one person who would say that. Fucking one person, Andy. Hey, I think that your profile picture was very pretty. So don't be hurting yourself. You can see all the people lined up at the door thinking how fine I am. Coming, you don't stop still. No, I don't put myself out there. there. You know I'm perfectly to content to be in love with somebody who doesn't like me back. They were top trash to Arthur Morgan. But he will rip your gums straight out. Flower. Hold on. I love this man, Arthur Morgan. Taking ass, still taking deaths. I'm about to mash this real hard. That way, I, that way I can move really fast. Look at me, riding this like a pro. And we're home. Are you still taking that one photo? A bill? Was you a military man, uh, Mr. Williamson? Sure was. Cavalry. I've been working. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Do some work, theory. Good, we really needed this. My pleasure. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Come on, come for her. Don't let Grimshaw get to you. She's just so mean sometimes. Her bark's worse than her bite. Well, I should get back to it. Alright. Here to come for you, man. Damn, poor Mary Beth. She got slapped in the face. Like, damn, Susan, I know you're the leader in all of the female group, but damn, don't be a bitch. Like, shit. All the girl was doing was trying to relax for a little bit. Hey. 
What are you working on? Fire arrows. Interesting. Mm. You give me a bottle of moonshine and I'll make you some. Moonshine? Mm. Whiskey do? No. It has to be moonshine. Whiskey ain't strong enough. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> My pleasure. Flower. My god. Are you okay? He said I don't get to be a maid. I don't get to be his maid anymore because I told him I was gonna greet his grumpy ass with uh, good morning every day. Wait, what? The guy that was gonna buy you a house? You joining <laughs> us here, Arthur? No, he's not buying me a house. What are you talking about? He's buying himself a house. Have a seat. So, what do you think of this place? Seems fine for now. I know this area a little. Hey! Not anywhere you ain't, I Van Jose. Uh, I'm gonna switch over to game chat. Hold on. Oh, you, are you, will you be back? Okay, I'll catch you later then. Alright, Arthur. I take it that's a no then, ma'am. Party chat, so I'm gonna switch over. Wait, what? What do you mean? I'm gonna switch over to their party chat. Wait, so you're leaving? Yeah. No, please, no, just invite them. No, are you gonna be on later? Uh, yeah, but I just want to be able to chat with you. I no one. Come on, please. No, I'm playing the game. I'll join soon if it means you'll stay. Like. Tell me I, when you're done, and I'll let you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm just about done. done. I just over. said... Oh, no. I miss her, too. God damn it. Ah, oh, god damn. You okay, old fella? All right, then. <laughs> I will see you later. You well? Good job, Arthur. Hey, folks. Morning, Arthur. Hi. You got this place whipped into shape, all right. I'm trying. You can only imagine what we'd be like left to our own devices. Okay. I got lots of problems. Mostly I drink too much. What's your problem with me? Nothing but the obvious. And what is that supposed to mean? It means go away. Just who do you think you are saying them things about me? I'm the dumb strumpet. Now get lost. Look at me. Look at me. You little. <sighs> Damn you. <clears throat> and you be careful before you hit me again, you goddamn moron. Dutch or no Dutch, you'll be up there with the angels playing harp before sunset. You hear me? Oi. Damn, women be mean. How you doing, old friend? Fine. <laughs> it's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a crick around here. I reckon it's full of thick. Mm. 
Hmm. Show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good a long over. Gosh. <laughs> Always dream crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Hosea. Let's go fishing. All right, gentlemen. Let me show you how it's done. There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again. Thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipes some good, Jose. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Alrighty then. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> well, well, look who it is. How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It is good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train! And do not after shoot train. them, you hear me? Come on, hurry! All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Come on, hold me up. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. 
faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas oh, yeah. wanting for? We're getting it. Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You've said plenty. I think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Bring him out here. Deputy? Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in, come on. A fine job, well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. There you go. Oh, you are Saint Denise. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. Saint Denis. Saint Denis. Oh, we'll round him up. Anders back there is the brain to the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit, I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. 
They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Roads and Sandini aren't that far away from each other. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh good, they're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? <laughs> Bring him in so we can show Sheriff Gray. Hey, fellas. Well, now. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. No more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Uh, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Greys, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses, falling out of rebel gold, marrying cousins, or not marrying... Arthur, That's Jose, you start poking around, see what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is. But I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Hmm. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea. You see what you can find out about these great weights. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Sure, why not? All right, I'm going to do the fishing great. thing, and then we'll... Jose, then why don't we'll, you uh... To that spot then we'll end... About? Stream. Kind of like the this place. Let's see what others are up to. Ah. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Feels <whistles> like storms rolling in. Gentlemen, follow me. Oh. So, how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch. 
pickerel, too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Where is this spot, Hosea? Timbuktu? Not too much farther. Anyway, you two never told me properly about that business with Cornwall in Valentine. What happened there? Apart from scaring the living daylights out of Mr. Strauss. That was about the only upside. John and I didn't even have time to get paid for the sheep we rustled. It is safe to say Mr. Cornwall isn't a man to let bygones be bygones. Ambushed us in the saloon. He came with a lot of guards and what seemed like just about every lawman in the county. We've had closer shaves, but not that many. And if Cornwall found us, the Pinkertons couldn't have been far behind. They found me when I was fishing with Jack, remember? Listen, it was good we moved when we did. But that mess is behind us now. Yes. Jack told me you were a good teacher when you took him fishing. I said he must have you confused with someone else. <laughs> Very funny. Trelawney said about those bounty hunters. What you think? This is the spot. Down to the left there. That's a shame. I wanted to hear what he was going to say about bounty hunters. Hold. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Yes, over there on the shore. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. What do you mean? What's your time, I read? All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Uh. Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're oh, Reed, you're such an old man right now. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Get us a bit deeper. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us... It's a much better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. Strong with good old worm. Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but... You'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. You got a bite there, Arthur. Fish on the line, Arthur. That feels like a bite. Ha! Got ya! Ah! 
I should have had that one. Okay, that was a bite. Got him? It's a really hard fish to catch. Got a bite. Got one. Shit. Got away. Hey, look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. I would like to see that. Hey, Jose, you remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not this again. I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. All right. I used to go fishing with this fella back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, Well, Felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I'm right swim to shore. There we go. Oh, yeah. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed a lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Anchorton's had patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. Oh, yeah. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way. And she, me, in hers... <laughs> Somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. Good job, Arthur.
You got a bite. Oh yeah, come on. Not bad, Arthur. It's like thing then less than four or five. And yeah, then I always throw so it back. Kind, Arthur. Something biting, Arthur. Oh, yeah. Okay, come on. Get this last one. Keeping that one, eh? Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. Think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Uh, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. I asked that gal to give me some. She says, wait until the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the taste was done. I couldn't wait till the taste was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. I wish to God I'd passed her by. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Taters got burned and so did I. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know. What song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we three poor mariners newly come from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round and round and round? Shall we go dance this round and round and round? And he that is a bully boy come pledge me on his round and round and round, round. We care not for the martial men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round and round and round. To them we dance this round and round and round. And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground of ground of ground of ground of ground of ground of ground. Oh, bravo! Bravo! Well, you know, we should not let the folks back in think too much fun. <laughs> oh, that was a good thing. Uh, this was a not so bad episode, but um, yeah, I just wanted this to be the last mission because we don't have anyone to talk to, so we right. the cutscene.
<laughs> I think I well, I mean, we are gonna be okay. I know. Oh, I always know. Whenever I got this game is fantastic by my side. Things are gonna be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Well, I am going to take in the view. I'll give these fish to Pearson. Let's say it was an LS. Uh, Leviticus strat. I wonder how you been. I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Uh, just a, just a few bucks. I'm short. Get lost. Well, well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. I'll be your squealer for steal some more stuff. Uh, let me go donate some money and then uh, buy some stuff for the camp, and then I'll end it. I just want to make sure that the camp's doing well. And give myself another fifty dollars. That is what I like to see. All right, yo. That was nice of us. Um, I ain't got much to do right now. Maybe I'll talk hey, to Sadie. I didn't tell Dutch about the little diversion on our supply run. Why not? I'll fight any time and any place. Yeah, and that's the problem. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right, Arthur. All right, y'all will definitely be expecting more streams like this. I'll definitely be doing a long one tomorrow. Look, do probably maybe I'll do another one today. Uh, I'll do other streams today. Is it true about the bad luck? What bad luck? I just broke my pocket mirror, and I remember me old ma saying that a broken mirror means seven years bad luck. Seven years? We won't see seven years out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. But if I find a mirror on my adventures, I'll bring it back for you. Thank you, Arthur. All right. I will definitely do more stuff. But for now, peace out, y'all.